Today we're once again in the game room of Building A. With me today is Miss Faye Rodriguez. Hi guys! Welcome to Friendship Kids Network. The people worship Jesus as king, but the religious leaders, they hated him. I know they did. They tried to treat Jesus into saying things he mm -hmm. couldn't say, but mm -hmm. Jesus always outsmarted them. Mm -hmm. So now they have a plan that he must be killed. Mm -hmm. So they arrested him, they put him on trial, they had false accusations against him, but Jesus did not fight back. Now why is that, you think? Because he knew this was God's will. It's all part of God's plan. Mm -hmm. Now, Miss Faye, what was God's big plan? Well, first of all, he wanted to come and save us. Yeah. He wanted to... Um, um, now, he lived a sinless life. He, he lived a sinless life. He wanted to come and save us. Mm -hmm. And there was a third one. And he rose from the dead. And he rose from the dead. That's it. And so, uh, because Jesus did all of this, guess what? We all have an opportunity to mm -hmm. one day go to heaven. Amen. I hope that everything is going well for you today at your house, and you continue to do all you can to help your parents. Now, our story point today is Jesus was arrested. Now, the big picture question, like it's been the last several weeks, Miss Faye, is, uh, what did Jesus do to save us? And you answered that a while mm -hmm. ago. First, he lived a sinless life. He was the only one that could only atone one. for our sin because he was a sinless lamb. Second, he had to die on the cross. Mm -hmm. But more important, thirdly, he rose Amen. from the dead. Thank goodness. Yes. Now, Miss Faye is going to give us an introduction to our story today. Okay, this story was talking about Jesus getting arrested. And back in those days... The religious, the the, um, the Pharisees, and there were some Jews. Mm -hmm. They didn't like Jesus because mm -hmm. Jesus went and complied with what they were telling them to do, or going along with what they wanted. Mm -hmm. So you know what? He was doing his thing, and they didn't like him. So guess what? We're gonna kill him. They plotted mm -hmm. to kill him. But you know what? Not only that, he had some friends mm -hmm. that turned against him. Oh yes. He had. Uh, he was arrested. He was falsely accused. Nothing that he was accused of was, was right. It was all wrong. It was not true. It was all false. And he was beaten. Mm -hmm. He was beaten really, really bad. I mean, for someone who didn't do anything wrong mm -hmm. to be treated like that, that is such a horrible thing for us to always remember. But to remember, he did it for us. He allowed them to do it. He allowed them to do that because he had to die mm -hmm. so we can be in heaven one day to forgive us of our sins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jesus was betrayed and they arrested him even though he did nothing, nothing wrong. wrong. Wow. A lot of times when you're accused falsely and you know you're right, that really hurts when oh, people yeah. don't believe you. Exactly. And I, I can know how that is. But his arrest was not just. His trial was nope. not fair. Nope. But all this had to happen had to because happen. he loved us. Mm -hmm. Only a sinless sacrifice Amen. can atone for Amen. sinful people. Amen. That's a mouthful right there. Jesus came to do his Father's plan and to bring salvation to all of us. Mm -hmm. Now right now I want you to listen to Katie Lynn as she's going to read our story to us. And after that she's going to ask us three questions to make sure that you were listening to the story. Jesus was arrested. Matthew 26 through 27. Jesus came with his disciples to a garden called Gethsemane. He said to them, Sit here while I go over there and pray. Jesus took three of his disciples into the garden, and Jesus became very sad and troubled. Jesus told the three disciples to stay there, and he went a little farther. Jesus fell face down and prayed, Father, if it is possible, spare me from this, but I want to do your plan. Jesus came back and found the three disciples asleep. He asked Peter, couldn't you stay awake with me for one hour? Jesus went away and prayed a second time. Then he found Jesus, then he found his disciples sleeping again. He said, are you still asleep? Get up, for it's almost time. 
Someone is going to betray me. Suddenly, Judas arrived with a large crowd carrying swords and clubs. Judas kissed Jesus so the crowd would know which man was Jesus. The men grabbed Jesus and arrested him. Peter pulled out his sword to fight the men, but Jesus told Peter to put away his sword. Jesus said, Isn't this what God planned all along? Jesus' followers ran away, but Peter stayed nearby to watch. The men who arrested Jesus led him to the house of Caiaphas, the high, pri the high priest. The religious leaders wanted a reason to kill Jesus, but they couldn't find one. The high priest asked, Do you have anything to say? Are you the Messiah, the Son of God? Jesus replied, Yes, that's right. The high priest said, Aha, he has spoken against God. Caiaphas and the religious leaders did not want to believe that Jesus is God's son. They said Jesus was lying, but Jesus was telling the truth. The crowd said, He deserves to die. They spit in Jesus' face and hit him. A servant saw Peter and asked, Aren't you one of Jesus' disciples? No, I'm not, Peter said. Twice more, as Peter watched what was happening to Jesus, someone asked him if he was a follower of Jesus. Peter lied. No, he said. I don't even know him. The next morning, the religious leaders decided how they would kill Jesus. Then they took him to Pilate, the governor. Christ Connection Jesus knew that his death was God's plan to save people from sin. Jesus' friends had turned against him, and he was arrested and put on trial. But Jesus followed his Father's plan in order to bring salvation to the world. Now I'm going to ask you three questions. Question number one. How did Judas show the crowd which person was Jesus? With a kiss. Question number two. What did Jesus do to show God's love even when we treat him unjustly? Jesus died for us. Now I'm going to ask you a bonus question which wasn't in the story. What happened after Peter denied Jesus the third time? The rooster crowed. All right, thank you, Katie Lynn, for the story and the questions there. Now, Miss Faye, why was Jesus the one and only sacrifice? Because only a sinless person could die for our sins. That's right, Miss Faye, that if someone like myself was to die for your sins, all I would do would just be dead because right. my sins would not right. help. No, you couldn't help me, Keith. I couldn't help you at all. I would, you would, yeah, I know you would try, but you couldn't help me. Yeah. Only Jesus could, because he was the only person that's ever lived on this earth yeah. without sin. Nobody else can say that. Can you imagine being a teenager and never sinning? No. Jesus I, was angry in the temple yeah. and never sinned. Can you imagine? Every time I get angry, uh, bad things happen. But there's a different type of anger, too. <laughs> so there's an anger that Jesus That did. was righteous anger. That was righteous. That's right. That's My right. anger is usually not right. Yeah. All right. Also, what are some promises that we can learn from this story? Well, we can always learn, first of all, when he went through this cruel, cruel death, as horrible as it was, mm -hmm. that he did it for us. Mm -hmm. That one day, if we accept him as our Lord and Savior, that we will be in heaven. And... He arose again, mm -hmm. which means we will also rise again in the end times and meet Jesus in heaven. I remember when I was a young Christian, I used to be mad that the Jews killed Jesus. How could they do that? Mm -hmm. But the older I got, I realized that yeah. they didn't kill Jesus. He voluntarily right. died on his own. That's so right. This was all part of God's yes. plan. Now, before we go, let's have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day to the Lord. Father, thank you that you died for us. Father, that you rose again. Father, you're the only one that can help us get to heaven. 
Father, thank you that we can trust in you, Father, to save us. Father, also we can trust in you to help us with all our problems. Father, during these hard times now, continue to be around us. Father, I pray that you would just put a hedge around all our children to keep them safe. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Bye, Bye children. We'll see you soon. Bye, guys.